Welcome to our service today as we continue our Lent journey. Last week we looked at temptation, this week we remember the glory that awaits. We do so on land cared for for tens of thousands of years by the Aboriginal people who lived here before us and we acknowledge their elders. The Lord be with you and, and also, also with you. you. sentence for today. If you want to become a disciple of Jesus, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow him. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Jesus said, This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it, you shall love your neighbour as yourself. Compassion and forgiveness belong to the Lord our God, though we have rebelled and wandered far off. Let us then ask for mercy, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. O God, you have searched us out and known us, and all that we are is open to you. We confess that we have sinned. We have used our power to dominate and our weakness to manipulate. We have evaded responsibility and failed to confront evil. We have denied dignity to ourselves and to each other and fallen into despair. We turn to you, O God. We renounce evil. We claim your love. We choose to be made whole. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to God in faith, 
pardoned you and set you free from all your sin, strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. God of all times and places, in Jesus Christ who was lifted up on the cross, you opened for us the path to eternal life. Grant that we, being born again of water and the Spirit, may joyfully serve you in newness of life and faithfully walk in your holy ways. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Our reading for today is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 4, beginning at verse 13. For the promise that he would inherit the world did not come to Abraham or to his descendants through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. If it is the inheritance of the law who are to be the heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, neither is there violation. For this reason it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the adherents of the law, but also to those who share in the faith of Abram. For he is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. In the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that did not exist. Hoping against hope, he believed that he would become the father of many nations. According to what was said, so numerous shall be your descendants. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was already as good as dead, for he was a hundred years old. And when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb, no, distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God. But he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, being fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. Therefore, his faith was reckoned to him as righteousness. Now the words, it was reckoned to him, were written not for his sake alone, but for ours also. It will be reckoned to us who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was handed over to death for our trespasses and was raised for our justification. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and also with you. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark the ninth chapter, beginning at the second verse. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter, James and John and led them up a high mountain, apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them and his clothing became dazzling white such as no one on earth could bleach them. There appeared with them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, he ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
On the second Sunday in Advent, we tell in this parish the story of Jesus' transfiguration. As a standalone story, it speaks of the revelation of Jesus' glory to a core group of his core group of disciples. Three of them up a mountain, Jesus prays, and while he's praying, he glows with the glory of God. Moses and Elijah turn up from heaven. The cloud of God's glory comes over the top and God speaks. This is my son. Listen to him. The disciples freak out and faint. This is one of the times in Mark's gospel when Jesus is more than ordinary. Most of the time, Jesus would have looked as you and I look, except that he could do miracles. He spoke with authority about God. He clearly was in touch with God and he was on a divine mission to head to the cross. But most of the time, he looked human in doing that. But at his baptism, when heaven is torn open and God speaks, here in the transfiguration and on the cross, when the sky goes black and Jesus cries and dies. Those are the three times when Jesus is more than ordinary or different from ordinary. The disciples lived their life uh, with it being a challenge to follow Jesus. He spoke with the authority of God, but he didn't say what they wanted him to say, so they had to try and understand. They watched him do miracles. He sent them out to have a go. And just after this, they fail to heal someone and Jesus has to step in and actually heal the kid. They're expecting Jesus to go to Jerusalem, kick out the Romans, reform the temple and establish properly the kingdom of Israel. Instead he goes and dies. As they live that life on this level, following Jesus the Messiah, there are these three bright points that inform for them who they are following, Jesus the Messiah. We live ordinary lives. We pray to God, we believe God hears, we believe we are children of God. We look at the trajectory of our life from birth, childhood, productive adulthood, forming relationships, having friends, doing things, and then heading into the wind down phase when we try and pass on wisdom. That trajectory happens for everybody. And people are kind and wise, or they're not. People do things that last and are productive. People stand against the current tide of hate and division, or they don't. And people come to a good end, or sometimes to a painful end. All of us, Christian, non-Christian, people of other faiths, live ordinary lives doing all of those things, but Christians are different. Christians actually believe that God is real, that behind the ordinary stuff of life, everything comes from God, that when I wash the dishes, brush my teeth or, or go for a jog, I'm with God. We believe that about everything, that it's all a bit magic. God is there. We believe that despite the evidence, love will triumph over hate because Jesus will come back and all will be well and all will be well. We believe that in loving we have a particular understanding of love, that we are children of God who are loved, forgiven and accepted so we can choose to act in kindness to friends and to enemies, not just for those who deserve or when I feel good or aroused, but always to act in kindness for others. There will be differences. My wife, different from you. My friends, the people I just know, my enemies, all different, but the particularity of we love because we are loved. We live ordinary lives just like everybody else, but we live them differently as a gift from God in relationship to the people of God and with a sense of mission from God. Why do we do that difference? Jesus. We aren't Christian just because we happen to be born in Australia and didn't grow up in a different religion country or an atheist country. We're Christian because Jesus is God's son who's come into the world. Because he brings grace, 
Other religions bring recipes for how to sort your life out. Jesus brings, you're a mess, so I will sort your life out. Jesus brings grace, and we live our lives following him. Jesus is the reason why Christians live the lives that we live. That voice from heaven, speaking to the disciples in the story of the transfiguration, this is my son. That's appointed to him, the son of God not to another religious figure, another philosophy, or to a set of ideals or ideas, but to the person of Jesus who would be God on earth, who would give his life for your and my sins, rise from the dead, and personally will come back. The voice from heaven pointed to Jesus. This is my son. And gave us our core loyalty. Listen to him. Now, we will listen to our own, our own wantings, our own imaginings. We'll listen to what normal, sensible people think. We'll listen to a range of ideas, and I hope you do listen to a range of ideas. But Jesus, listen to him. For Christians, the key to a good life is that we are loved and forgiven, and Jesus has come. In the extraordinary moments of Jesus' ministry, in his baptism when God spoke, in the transfiguration when he glowed and God spoke again, not to him but to his followers, and on the cross when the centurion said, this is God's son. These are the key moments that show us that we're following more than just another religious teacher with some cool ideas. We find the meaning of our lives together as we follow him. Welcome to Lent, when we turn from sin, turn to God, and follow him again. Amen. Utumwa mgeza tuusanga, mwini mariko mgeranda, ikigabura chichenda kufa kumurungu wakaviri. Imisi tanda tishize, yesa jana na petero, na yakobo na yohana, abaduga nigisozi kire kire, alivu onyene. Ahindu kukuni mbere ya avu, imuzu ziwe zirakaya angana, zera derere, kandi na mumesuzi kuisi, yoshuwe kuzee zarcho. Maze Eliana Mose, barabi yereka, pavugana na Yesu. Petera bugira Yesu ati, mngigisha, bitubere vjiza koturi hano, nukotuchin sago zitatu, rungar guawe, urundir gua Mose, urundir gua Eliya. Niyana zicha kuye kufuga, kukobari wagu ijihu umura. Maze gicu kiraza kibateri gitutu ijwi riva muri nyagicu riti nguyu umwana wanje nkunda ni mu mwumve Maze barake baguza vuba ni baba bakigira ubundi babona atari Yesu wenyene ari kumwe nabo Bariko baramanuka ico gisozi arabihanikiriza ngo ntihagire ntihagire umuntu badondera ibyo babonye umwana w'umuntu atarazuka avuye mu bapfuye Ngiyo inkuru yo guhinduka ukundi kwa Yesu. Iki ni kimwe mu bihe bike bya Yesu aho kamere mere yiwe yerekanwe ku bashobora kumubona no kumwizigira. Abandi bari ku kibatizo ciwe igihe Imana yavugana nawe ni gihe yapfira ku musaraba. Muri iki gice Yesu akayangana n'icubahiro c'Imana. Kuboneka ku Imana kugaragara mu gicu kandi ijwi ry'Imana ryarongeye kumvikana cyane Ijwi ry'Imana ryabwiwe abigishwa bari bahari ko Yesu ari umwana w'Imana kandi ko bagomba kumwumva Abigishwa ba mbere bahuye n'ibibazo byinshi mu gihe cyo gukurikira Yesu Bagomba kwishimira kwiga kumenya Yesu ari we aho kumenya ibyo bari biteze ko bimubako Bagomba kumwishura igiciro cyo kumukurikira no kwihanganira ingorane nyinshi zitandukanye mu buzima bwabo na twebwe duhura n'ibibazo turafise umuheza giro w'Imana natwe buri gihe turakunzwe twarahariwe kandi ntituzigera tubaho twenyene hari hinyungu nyinshi zo kuba umukristo kuruta ibibazo imwe mu nyungu nuko mu byukuri dukurikira umwana w'Imana kandi dushobora kubona ubugombe bwayo mu buzima bwacu ubu turi mu gihe cyikarema canke igihe kigisibo 
ikibazo cy'ikaremana ukongera kwihana ibyaha byacu no kumara umwanya munini dusenga rimwe na rimwe ibi biroroshe rimwe na rimwe kandi ibi biragoye ushishikarizwe nuko uri kumwe na Yesu tuzosangira icubahero cha Yesu mwijuru kandi duhorana imbaraga ziwe uri munsi amina let us together affirm the faith of the church. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker and of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Stand if you can for the greeting of peace. Christ has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also, also with, you. with you. Peace, peace be, with, be you. with you. Jeff. Peace, peace be, be with, with you. you.
Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, has promised that you will hear us when we ask in faith. Receive the prayers we offer. We pray for your world, for the preservation of the earth and its inhabitants, for just and responsible sharing of the resources of the world. We pray for the leaders of nations and all with responsibility of government. We pray especially for the people of Ukraine, Israel, Palestine and the Middle East and for all in areas affected by war or natural disasters. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for a servant church where your gospel is proclaimed in word and deed. We pray for unity and trust between Christians of different traditions. We pray for our clergy and all who worship in this parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our communities, for all who live in the shadow of violence, for those who are homeless or without gainful employment. We give thanks for the many who provide assistance to those in need and give thanks for all those who share our lives, family, friends and neighbours. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you bring comfort and healing to those in distress, for those in pain, for those who mourn, for the sick and dying and those who care for them. We pray for all on our parish prayer list and also Keith, Mackenzie, Joanne and Georgette. Bring healing and peace to them all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We praise you for all your servants whose lives have honoured Christ. Encourage us by their example so that we with Tom Rue, John Heath, Winston Nurse, Charlie Christoffel, Harry Hamilton, Seth Fisher, Norman Harrison, Di Parker and all your saints may run with perseverance the race that lies before us and share with them the fullness of joy in your kingdom. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith, we may by your grace receive, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amazengesho, yomu kinundi, yoko yomu suimana, igene kizu ya minongi wili nagata, nuzu kwezi kwa kabili, unwa kwa mbibu wili na minongi wili na kane, abili kwa ishengero ya mariko mwela ndamuli anglikane anumulo australia, manu gila neza mana ichuwa hilo, nushimwe, nushikwe heju urabi kuye mana, urumufje iwacho, ulimana ya chumwami, Tukushimiye kuruyu mwanya mngiza, tukushimiye kuri isa nziza, kuduhaye kugirango tukuhimbaze mngami, tukongire tukusenge. Numusi walemye mngami, tulanezelewe mngami, ishengiru jawe, abanu wawe tukihumeka, tulimbele yawe mngami, tulanezelewe mngami, tulabikushimiye. Tulakushimiye yuko, isezela no jawe tukira, kwa nituwa kwa maga rodo tukitawa, Kani tuwa kurondi la numuti mawuchiche ufi, uzo wana na atu kwa mngami, uzo tugiri la neza. Kani jambu ya tugiri angoni tuwa kusaba mngami, manu uzo uduha, ili tusavye. Kani tuwa kurondi la tuzo kuona mngami. Nune mana ya achu, turazi neza, jambu ya tugiri ayuko. Ukuboku kwa we, ni kuwa hiku kufu yuna newe ukiza. Namba tu ya we, ni ya pui yuna newe kumba. Ariko bigabi tanyo vijachu, ni vichumuro vijachu, bila kukingi ila munyonga hawe mngami. Bika tumani yotu kwa senga mngami, utumwa masengesho yachu. Nonu duharile, wezi mitima yachu mngami. Uwese, ariko harumwa ya masengesho, awali hafi, awali kure, uduharile mana yachu, utugirile neza. Ugirango mngami mana, utugira vera kukonawe, uruwe ila mana. Uzo ukoze. Tura kushimie mwami. Muli imisi tugeze mwa mana yachu. Nimisi mana yachu. Ige tuibuka. Umwami yesu. Imiwaro ya gize. 
umwe itwara ariko yagize mwami ubwira ngo ducungure mwami yaremeye ari heba yitisha bugufi imana yacu aremera arasonza aremera arababazwa aremera rakubitwa aremera arabambwa kumusaraba kugira ngo waducungure mwami turazi neza mwami jambo gya tugira ngo tukira abanyanegenye tukira abanyavyaha Yesu yaradupfiriye kandi chamuzanye mwami uko byari byabonetse uko amaraso y'intama amaraso y'ibitungo tatwera amaze ariko amaraso y'umwana wawe Yesu Kristo mana yacu niwe yabonetse yuko akwiye kutubera ikimazi kiguhimbara mwami none muri we twarabohotse muri we mwami mana twarahariwe amaraso yiwe mwami mana yatumye mana yacu imitwaro yacu ivyaha vyacu mana yacu byose mana yacu bitubako turabigushimiye mana nubuntu twagiriwe n'imbabazi twagiriwe nagakiza twaronse ku buntu mwami uduhereye gutakanjanwa ko uduhereye kubandanya urugendo mwami wadutoboreye mwami kugira ngo tubane nato twihanganira mageregezwa yisi uko tumenya neza ari twihangana tukatsa kuherezo mwami imana zo twamika cyagitsa cyagitsibo cyawe cy'ubugingo cyakindi wasezeranira abagukunda none uduheza gire utugirire neza twese mwami ishengiro rya urugirire neza mwami dufisa amasezerano wadusezeraniye mwami wavuze kuzubana natwe wavuze mwami imana our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us again. Our time together in worship has nearly concluded. Uh, we in the parish in person do very much appreciate having an online congregation joining in with us. Some of you are friends who just can't get to church physically at the moment. Others are people from other places who this is how you connect with us. We appreciate you and are glad that you join us. In the parish, when you watch this, we will have just had uh, men's barbecue breakfast. We will be about to have our parish, parish annual meeting. And I'll try and get probably some footage or some pictures of that to put up next week in the blooper part at the end of the service. And we will be about to say when our Easter services will be. Parish Council's got to confirm those, but they will be as they usually are. Good Friday services, there'll be an online Good Friday service and an Easter Day service that will present again the joy of Christ's resurrection and the call to follow. Keep a holy Lent. Enjoy following Jesus. I'll see you next week.
conclude by remembering that we are blessed by God. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. First men's barbecue breakfast for the year. Here are the lads, they can all cook, and life is better with bacon.